Hello again Year 12s, it's time for me to walk you through another COSI essay prompt and look at how to make some uh, effective topic sentences. As I talked about last time, the topic sentence is king. You may not watch both videos, so I'm repeating some of the same points. You've got to say at the start of your paragraphs, well you don't got to, but I really think you should start each paragraph with a good, clear topic sentence. This is what I'm going to talk about here, and it should not, it should not jump straight into an example of the play. So. One of the questions from last year's exam. Cosy is more than an entertaining comedy. It reveals the sadness of the lives of the characters. Discuss. Again, do you actually accept that this is true? Do you think it's more than just a comedy? Do you think that it actually explores the sadness of the life of the characters? Or do you think that it does something else? So... Here is what could be your opening topic sentence. Roy is very funny in the way that he speaks to Lewis and Henry. This is actually not a good topic sentence because it's far too specific. It talks about Roy and Lewis and Henry and stuff, but it actually doesn't talk about the play generally. It's just um, you're zeroing in on evidence. You need to make a more global statement about whether it's effective as a comedy. So, now as autobiographically inspired play, Cosy succeeds as a comedy with various types of humour. So you're saying generally, yes, it works as a comedy, and then you're going to bring in bits of evidence such as Roy uses a particular style of humour, kind of um, combative, exaggerated style perhaps, um, whereas Doug has some kind of intellectual wordplay when he's not just being scary and abusive, and you would explore the various types of humour that are in there. But first, you need to say, um, yes, it succeeds as a comedy. Okay, dodgy topic sentence number two. In Cosy. Henry and Ruth seem very quiet and sad. Again, you're jumping straight into evidence. You need to be talking at a much higher level and saying, you know, does this play in fact explore sadness? You know, and do you accept that part of the prompt? So, Nara reveals and explores the sadness of a range of characters, especially those in the institution in his play, Cosy. So you're mentioning that you know it's in the institution, you're mentioning Nara as the playwright and creator, and you're talking about a range of characters, because I do think there's more sadness than just um, than just exists for, say, one character or even a couple of characters. So, bodgy sentence number three. It was a real tragedy that's meant to say that Roy was never accepted by um, the other people. That's a dreadful sentence, isn't it? Maybe I should fix that up a bit poor to... Um, that Roy was never accepted by the other by people around him. There we go. That's a bit better. Um, you know that's accurate enough, but it's not really the point. The point is that it actually functions as a tragedy as well. So I'm accepting the premise of and saying yes, it's a comedy and yes, it's about sadness, but it isn't just a funny play that explores sadness. It actually has other dimensions to it. So, in Cosy, Nara went beyond comedy and sadness and created a vivid and moving human tragedy. And then I would go and talk about what the particular tragedies are in this piece. So, while mine are not brilliant topic sentences, they are better than what they started off with, which is much too specific, jumping straight into examples, not saying something general enough. Um, so, see, remember when you're practicing on... Um, Tuesday and Wednesday and writing on Wednesday and Friday that in fact the topic sentence is king um, make them really really good